All right, welcome back. Here we are going on our field. We're gonna use another dumbbell to do six more exercises. With these ones, we're gonna do them in two sets. We can call them set A and set B. And we'll just go through them in demonstration mode. Remember, you can do these as a set amount, like going to 10 to 12, or you can do them in your 30 seconds to one minute intervals as a circuit, and you can have six groups working, and then they coordinate at the end of their time, whether it's the 30 seconds or the one minute as mentioned. So the first one, we're going to do a traveling dumbbell swing. So it's almost like a kettlebell swing, but we got the dumbbell here. Swing down and up. As we are swinging up, we're going to take a step to the right and back down. We'll probably move five this way, and then we will swing, move left, move left, and we keep going. The other way I was thinking is that you can do jumps forward, swing, and hop, swing, and hop, and we can do five forward, and then come back doing your five. So I would call that traveling dumbbell swing in a couple of variations. Next, we're going to do push-up to shoulder tap. So regular push-up, down, shoulder tap across, back down, shoulder tap across. Another version of the shoulder tap is if you have partners, you could then go down, you could do high five across, push-up, high five across. So my partner's facing me, high five, high five. So you're still getting that same uh, balance of workout with the plank, adjusting where your pivots are and getting that nice core strength going on. Next exercise is a side, a plank to a side uh, movement. So we're in our plank, then we rotate to a side plank, hold, and then come back down, and then we go the other way. feet are stacked, you have less base to support. If the feet, feet are in front of each other, you have more base to support, so there's more control that way. You can also advance this by lifting up like a star. That one's a lot more challenging. And then we go back and forth for our set of 10, five on both sides, or for our 30 seconds to one minute, and then rotate in our circuits. Set B, so we do those three exercises first, and now we have set B. So what we're gonna do is 180, degree squat jump. So we squat, jump, 180. 180 back. 180, 180 back. And we would do our set of 10. So we got five to the left, five to the right. And then we could also do our 30 seconds to one minute. Next exercise is an alternating renegade row in a plank position. We have our dumbbells, appropriate size of dumbbells or weight for age that you are working with. Nice plank position, dumbbells directly beneath your shoulders and you roll up and back down, roll up, back down. Maintaining good strong balance, if you need more support, feet are out wider as you row. If your core is a little bit stronger, tuck them in and roll. The less base of support you have, the more your body will turn to pivot. So just find that nice balance point where your feet are a little bit apart and you can row and try and keep your back as straight as possible as you row and then back down. Last exercise is going to be a side plank like in the first set. So we're in our full plank here and then we're going to rotate, stretch up, hold, and then come back down move the weight over and we would go the other way and come down so you could go with two dumbbells here not just one roll up again you could advance it or you can just maintain nice balance and control doing your exercises so those are six more exercises for you using minimal equipment again done anywhere backyard in your basement on a little field, watching your kids play, or your kids doing them with you. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you could use these. Please check out my blogs on simpleexercisesforkids.com. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube videos. Thanks so much. See you again.